rock and roll star. You can see her live on tour right now. Here performing Any Weather off her latest album called Unvarnished. It's on vinyl, yo. Please welcome Joan Jett and the Blackhearts. Any weather from this album right here. Boom, let's plug the album again. Boom, there you go. Any weather. Uh, that was great, man. That Thank was great. You. And then uh, during the break, we were playing uh, I Love Rock and Roll. You're up dancing, and the crowd that never gets old, right? It's, it's got to be the greatest feeling in the world. No, it, well, it is. You have it's, so it's... many hits in your pocket. Well, I'm blessed with that, but, but having the audience respond to, to music like that is. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. It's, it's why you do it. It's a, it's a release. It's a connection. It's something that everybody can relate to, whether it's happy music like I Love Rock and Roll or something maybe a little sadder. You know, still people have all those experiences. Yeah, man, you're great. I've seen you in concert. You're great in concert. Thank you're, you. Uh, really fun show. Uh, now, you... I didn't... I just thought, look at these stupid notes I have for you. I didn't know you played... I thought I knew everything about you, by the way. Uh, you played... You played clarinet when you were a kid? 
I, I did for a little while. What happened to the clarinet? Well, I, I guess it was the way it was presented to me. I didn't like it, you know? <laughs> my, I think my, my father kind of kind of ordered me to play it. It's not really dirty. I don't know why. <laughs> It wasn't, they should have just handed it to it you. Didn't, it, didn't, it didn't come from me, you know? I, I think it was a parental wish. My father wanted me to do something, you know, classical. Well, and, nothing wrong uh, with guitar, man. Yeah, was he, was I, it, were they, like, disappointed and, well, when you were in the Runaways and all that stuff? Because you didn't play the clarinet? No, my mother was, <laughs> my mother was very uh, much a part of getting us together, driving us to rehearsals, talking to the other mothers, and... So in my head, okay. uh, when the runaways were hot, in my head, the parents weren't around. Yeah. <laughs> and they, they weren't for the most part. You know, after we, we got a little bit older, we had some kind of chaperone on the road, and, and they weren't really around, except for when we were rehearsing in Los Angeles. But. It was really nice to meet Kenny Laguna. How long have you, you and Kenny been working together? Since 1979, since right when the runaways broke wow, up. Wow, man, yeah. forever. Uh, now, you, you do a lot of USO tour. We met before when yes. I was doing a USO tour, and we were, it was in Oman, right? I think that so. Was that a turkey? It had to be, yeah. It was like it was one of those things where there, somebody's bringing her in on a truck and I was going out on a truck. Yeah, we were coming out and you were going in. Yeah, it's weird. It was a little storm. You, and do we a lot of you, you do a lot of USO stuff. Uh, yes. You never get scared or anything doing though, right? I, I, I think they're pretty... I, I, I think it's so surreal that it's hard to get scared. I mean, I just have not had the experience of being afraid yet. But never I mean, been certainly in certain situations where if you were sane, you should be afraid. Yeah, you're in war zones and you're in an Apache helicopter or Black Hawk and there's Apache helicopters taking you around, but you don't feel, I feel safer than I'm in, than when I'm in LA. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. And, you know, and you're surrounded with our, 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 our troops and they are very capable and so you feel safe, you know. Now, I want to ask you really good, like you got your style, you got a great style. And I always heard it was from Susie Quattro, but it's not, right? You got it from T-Rex and all those guys in London. Well, I think it was What's a combination, this? because I went to a club called Rodney Bingenheimer's English Disco. He's really famous in uh, Very LA. famous, yes. Yeah. And he played all the, the hot music that was, that was big in Britain that kids here never heard. David Bowie, T-Rex, Slade, Susie Quattro was one of them, and she was like the only girl. Yeah. And so I obviously related to that. Um, but yeah, I think I took, my, it was a, you know, a mishmash have, of all those. Because I have, like, here, here's a picture I have, like, if you don't mind. Here's you. There's Susie Quattro. And there's my other favorite chick rocker, uh, John Bon Jovi. <laughs> yeah, it was either him or uh, the guy from Cinderella. Hey, uh, <laughs> Joan Jett, everybody. Joan Jett. That's our show, folks. I wish we had more time. I want to thank my friend Craig Ferguson for letting me host the show. Thanks for letting me take over the desk, buddy. We have Carl Ryder on the show, Connie Schultz, and of course, Joan Jett of Blackheart, George Gray, the beautiful Price is Right models, Rachel, Amber, Manuela. Be sure to check out Craig tomorrow morning on The Price is Right. Good night, everybody.